Hey everybody, Wendy Devereaux here. Welcome back to my channel. If you would like to see how I did this textured blingy canvas art, then please keep watching. Well, I am just going to get right into it. And today we are going to do another blingy canvas, but with a little bit of a twist. I really enjoy using uh, modeling paste to texture my canvases. And I thought, well, I'm going to combine a little bit of texturing with the bling. So let's get started. I will leave a complete list of everything that I use in my description box below and will point out as I'm going along as well. So I went ahead and put a coat of white paint on my canvas. And then I went ahead and used my ruler because for this canvas, I'm going to do a band of bling rather than doing the uh, spiky icicles. So I just uh, measured my center and then I did my pencil marks where my bling basically is going to be in the middle there. Okay. Now I'm going to use, which I always do, I use this designer's palette by Handy Art. It's an acrylic medium. Uh, it's a modeling paste and it's, um, it's, it's nice to work with. I love working with it, but you know what? It's a little expensive. So if you've never done texturing before, um, I would suggest you get, um, this is DAP, it's an acrylic latex caulking, and it's thicker, but it's great for practicing on you guys. I'm going to scoop up, I'm sure that you're in my camera vision here, yeah you are. I'm going to scoop up some of my modeling paste. Because I already painted my canvas with acrylic paint. I don't want to put this modeling paste on as is. I'm going to mix it with more white paint and then I won't have to go back and paint, it, paint over it again. And we're going to add a little bit of white paint in here. I never measure. Um, I just wing it. All I know is that I want this modeling paste stirred up really well with my white paint. So yeah, so that's mixed up pretty good. And all you need to do is scoop. Now I wanna make sure that um, touch that one. Paste is all applied. Oh, that looks so cool. 
Love it. Okay guys, so our modeling paste is all dry. Uh, what my goal is, you can see all the little bumps. That's where I want to concentrate on putting my black paint. So here we go, wish me luck. God's hand to mine. getting the effect that I want so I'm going to put more on the tip there that's what I want right there now there's a little bit of bumpies right here thick over there so I'm going to need to balance this out a little bit this now and I'm wondering if I should add just the teeny weeny weeny bit of gold or silver or something in there. I really did want just a black and white. What do you guys think? I wish you could talk to me right now. Say something. <laughs> oh, oh, I wish I could hear you guys. Okay, let me ponder, do a little meditating. <laughs> I like to meditate. Okay, um, I want my canvas framed and this, this is the same canvas 
or same size canvas that I'm using. And I am going to do a little trick here. We are going to use the frame off of this one to frame the other one. So let's get a nice sharp tool and just actual frame under there I mean with a little little edge and everything so very easy went down to the garage and took a I think they're called a hacksaw just cut that off very easy took me like three minutes and then these pull right out now voila we have a frame okay so I am going to use this dap, I seriously don't know if it uh, works for wood, but um, it's all I have on hand. So all I'm gonna do is, I'm going to start squirting it in here. That's gonna take forever to dry because it's so thick. It's gonna be so thick, but I don't care. It'll, uh, it'll dry eventually. <laughs> I just, for now, I just want it to dry on top so I can paint over it. Okay, my uh, filler is dry. And I just gave it a, a light sanding with my sanding block. Okay, I'm going to set this aside. And we're going to uh, put a coat of Mod Podge on the painting. I'm not going to bother with the sides because we're going to paint those black. Okay, I think that will give it a nice shine. So we're going to be using this crushed glass and I love it because the back side is black. So pretty. And I've got a black fine glitter from Michael's recollection. I'm dying to use this. And I have a plain white. And I think I'm going to add, you know, see. There's a difference here too. This is the dollar store silver. And then this is Michael's The Recollection. And there is a difference. This one seems to be, I don't know, blacker. Like it has a, a blackish color to it, which is perfect for the canvas. Mm. But I think because of all the busyness, I'm going to use the cheaper of the two. That makes more sense to me. And then I've got a thicker, chunky glitter, silver. So, first thing we need to do is make sure that I don't get the glitter over too far because of my frame. So, my frame is one inch and a little bit. <laughs> As you know from my other video, I do not like measuring. So I think what I'm gonna do, just so I don't forget, I don't get over crazy as I'm putting my bling on, because sometimes I get pretty excited. I'm just going to, as a reminder, and I'm gonna go in just, so it's gonna be about there. So, oh, that's not gonna work. 
I need to do it the other way. Let's get this party started. So I'm just, for now, I'm gonna go down the middle. I just wanna see how far this uh, liquid glass is going to spread because of course it's going to do its own thing. And I don't want to allow it to do its own thing. So now we're just going to Sprinkle some of this stuff on. Ooh. Nice. I'm going to be adding more too once uh, my crushed glass is in there, but I'm basically doing this because I want to see it. I want to see it right now. I've been waiting too long. Ooh, I like this chunky stuff. It's kind of neat. Okay, you guys, let's get rock and rolling with our crushed glass here. Oh, yes. I don't know, you guys. I don't know if I want to add more color. This is kind of what I envisioned. This is all dry, so that's not going to happen until tomorrow because I want to let this uh, cure overnight. Okay, guys, so the liquid glass has cured, and now we are going to brush all of the fresh glass and glitter off our canvas here. Put it right into the bucket. Excess here. I, uh, I again, off camera, after about 30 minutes, you guys, I used that, um, just a piece of white paper, and I just went along and squished it down a bit just to get most of it to adhere to the um, liquid glass. Okay, um, so here we go. Perfect. Okay. The only thing that I'm I I'm not thrilled about is this band. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first I'm going to glue my um, my frame on, and then I'm going to play around a little bit with some extra crushed glass and glitter 
Okay, so we're gonna use some E6000 to glue this frame on. I don't wanna use um, hot glue. I want this to be permanent. And I wanna make sure that it's really close to that edge so that when I adhere it to the canvas, it's going to be pretty flush, well, as flush as I can get it anyway, right? Come on out. Don't, don't be afraid. Come on out. I'm just going to spread it around a little. Just so it doesn't uh, seep out. I don't want really any seepage. All right, let's turn this around. I want to get it fairly close. I don't want to use clamps because I don't want it to dent my uh, frame. So I probably didn't need that much. So no, I don't. I'm just going to, yeah. Okay. I'm just going to wrap that around fairly tight so that it sticks together and oh I did it again <laughs> I think I was painting a wall okay get that nice and tight okay you guys let's deal with this uh, band of bling because I am not happy with that I want to be able to maintain some control over this. So I'm not going to use um, liquid glass right now. I'm just going to use Mod Podge. And just going to add a little bit of glitter to it. And then I'm going to use a small brush, paint brush and um, paint it on rather thick and then add my crushed glass. So see, you can fix these if, if something you don't like, you can always add to it, not a huge deal. It's going, I'm going slowly at first, you guys, just to make sure uh, that I kind of get myself a design that I want. Don't normally like using Mod Podge for the glass, but. Um, because afterwards I may have to uh, go back over it with another coat of Mod Podge, but I'm going to, um, I'm just going to vacuum it, and because I'm putting a pile of it on, like I'm laying it on pretty thick. Uh, it should be okay.
Okay, you guys, so um, our Mod Podge is dry. Let's build some sort of a dam. If this would be considered a dam or not, but let's see how this uh, <laughs> paper works. Oh, look at that. We're back. Whoops. That stuck back on. Definitely gonna have to vacuum this. Okay, you guys, so uh, when I applied it with the Mod Podge, uh, that turned out really well. It doesn't look like an afterthought, which was what I was worried about. So, last thing that I need to do is paint the canvas underneath black and then I'm going to put another coat of black just on the side of this and the face and then um, I'll hang it up and you can see it. Okay you guys here's the finished look. I'm so happy with the way this turned out. There's so much nice texture going on. Look at that. Oh, that's so pretty. And I love the frame. It just makes it look so much more expensive. Like it turned out really well. And the little crevice there between the two actually give it uh, a little bit more dimension. So it, um, yeah, it turned out really nice. That's so pretty. The sun isn't out today. It is snowing in Canada. So I have my, my uh, big light shining on it and it is still really, really sparkly. Oh, it's beautiful. And I decided that I am, uh, I've actually started it. Um, I am doing one with some gold in it. And it's gonna be similar to this one with the texture, uh, but I'm gonna have some gold uh, streaks in my painting and I'm going to be using uh, gold crushed glass and glitter. So yeah, you guys, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends if you think they'd like to see something like this. And please subscribe to my channel. It will really help me out a lot. And thanks again so much for watching. As always, I so, so appreciate it, you guys. And enjoy the rest of your day or evening, depending on when I get this thing uploaded. Okay, you guys, until next time, stay well.